All right, Ryan, first thing we're gonna put on is our arm trainer, okay? It attaches just above the bicep. We're gonna bring that forward, okay? And tighten down, okay? This device is gonna help you keep your back arm bent through the slotting phase, stay connected through the slotting phase, okay? And you always want, Ryan, the magnet on the inside part of your wrist, okay? Bring this over just a smidge, okay? As you bring it up to the bicep, connects right there. What we're gonna attach first is our baseball arm trainer. Again, this goes around the back arm, fastens just above the bicep, okay? The wrist attachment, you want the magnet on the thumb side of the wrist, and tighten down, okay? So that the magnet attaches right there. Next, we'll just take the ISO belt. We're gonna put that on, take it around the waist with the Velcro on the outside. Then we'll just slide through the buckle and attach the Velcro there. You always wanna make sure that our stride trainer attachment is on the back hip. For Peyton, he's a right-handed batter, so it's gonna be back here on his right hip. Mark has the uh, stride trainer attached. We are gonna be uh, taking a stride or, or walking through these. And so I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and, and point out the, the purpose of this device. This attachment attaches at the hip and goes around the front foot. It has uh, two primary purposes. Uh, one is to really feel, go ahead and lift your front foot more, is to kind of feel this back leg in charge of the footwork and kind of feel how that, how that uh, cord is pulling the front foot up. The other uh, primary action is, go ahead and take your stride forward, is it helps us to stay square and closed on that front side. So he's, we're going to go ahead and incorporate that. This arm trainer and the stride trainer can be used throughout the entire, uh, the entire uh, routine. Next is the stride trainer. Always have the loops in the front. Take the toe loop, put it around the front toe. Take the tubing, connect it to the back hip joint. Here we have our three foot ISO baseball universal connecting strap, which allows you to connect the drive train or any of our other attachments to any fixed point. Okay, I'm simply gonna take the strap, run it through an Olympic weight here for an example, bring the strap through the buckle and tighten down. Go ahead and lay the plate down and now I'm ready to connect my leverage trainer or drive trainer to the Olympic weight. This is our ISO baseball 30 foot adjustable strap. This allows you to set up your leverage trainer at a connection point, you know, up to what would be close to 40 feet if you, if you consider the, uh, the length of the leverage trainer as well, up to 40 feet out in front of the batter, okay? That doesn't really affect where the pitcher throws from. You can still throw from 60 feet, six inches, but the connection point uh, for the leverage trainer, the anchor point, in this example, our Olympic weight, would be about 40 feet out in front of the batter at maximum distance. Okay, we've unrolled our 30-foot strap, and now I'm simply going to attach the clip to our universal connecting strap to our anchor point here. In this case, it's the Olympic weight. Okay, again, the strap is 30 feet long, and we want this anchor point a nice, safe distance, uh, you know, as much as 30 feet out in front of that batter, probably at least 25 to 30 feet out in front of that batter if you're hitting live balls or if you're working on the tee, get that attachment point out. Okay, again, our universal strap, the connection point's about 30 feet out front, okay? And it comes equipped with these different attachment points, which is very important. About every eight inches, we have a different uh, opening there we can anchor our leverage trainer. You wanna create a, uh, a bit of tension in it. You don't want any slack here. You wanna pull it to where there's a decent amount of, of tension. Find the appropriate opening and simply put the hook through the fabric. We've got Mark here attached to our leverage trainer device which works with our ISO belt. Again, the ISO belt has two basic attachment points, one for the uh, stride trainer and another for our, our leverage as well as our drive trainer. The drive trainer attachment attaches out front and provides resistance that is pulling Mark off of his backside but forcing him to stay leveraged behind that front side. So if Mark allows the center of gravity to get too far forward, he's gonna get pulled over. He's gonna, th this device will really create incentive for the hitter to get off of the backside but then stay leveraged well behind that front side. 
All right, Ryan, we're going to attach the uh, drive trainer now. Okay, you're going to work on driving laterally from the back side against that front side. Square into that front side. Ready? One, two. Ready? One, two. One more time. Ready? One, two. Okay, go ahead and spin back around this way. Okay, and then we'll do a couple more work. The hands back trainer here is very important for assisting the hitter and keeping his hands back in the same position. A lot of hitters will try to drag their hands forward at this point. This will strongly encourage the hitter to keep his hands back through this critical drill. Reset, go again. One, two. Ready, load, attack. Okay. Ready, load, attack. And here Nick's working off of the screen out front, utilizing the hands back trainer to help keep his hands back. As you can see, the hands back trainer is attached back here to our batter's wall, which is a five ring attachment point that can be used with our uh, ISO baseball training devices. This can be utilized like we're doing here in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the living room, wherever you need to be to work on the ability to load and unload while keeping the hands back and the front side square. Go ahead and attach the hands back device at this point. Okay, go ahead and put, the, put your hand on the back. You want to let that ring settle at the bottom of your hand there, Ryan. Okay. In order to work on this strong vertical barrel position, we have our barrel trainer, which also works with our batter's wall. We'll simply take the barrel trainer, attach the cuff around the top of the barrel, and tighten down. This is going to give the hitter resistance to work against, really forcing the top hand to strengthen to work against that resistance to maintain this wrist cock vertical position uh, that we want to see in our hitters. Here we go. Ready? One, two. Again, Nick is still working on loading and unloading the back leg, lifting and slotting the elbow to the ball, maintaining an unchanged position, okay, keeping the palm on the pitcher, but working against resistance here uh, from the barrel trainer. Let's go again. <clears throat> One, two, okay, again. Again, he's working off the pitcher here out front, okay. We've got all the attachments working here. We've got the leverage trainer that he's working against, the stride trainer, of course, the back arm trainer, keeping that elbow bent and putting focus onto the back elbow, the barrel trainer, as well as the hands back trainer. We've got them all working here. All right, Ryan, we'll go ahead and attach the barrel trainer now. This is a little bit of an advanced uh, attachment. Okay, we're working uh, for strength here with that top hand maintaining uh, the barrel. You're going to be working against this resistance, okay, and trying to maintain the vertical barrel as you go through. Okay, ready? and here we have our batter's wall, which has five attachment points uh, where you can utilize all of the ISO baseball attachments uh, inside, in your living room, in the kitchen, in the bedroom. Our leverage trainer, we're going to want to attach that at about hip height, okay, which again also doubles uh, as the drive trainer. Okay, the hands back device will attach around hand height. And then we also have the barrel load trainer, which will be the highest attachment point somewhere around barrel height. Here we have our batter's wall, again, with the five secure attachment points. Okay, And when you're securing this, you want to really use the center of your door. You want to have the uh, prongs working down with the buckle working up from underneath. Okay, And you want that buckle aligned directly underneath the prongs and simply fasten the buckle there and then you're going to pull directly straight up to tighten your batter's wall and now you have a secure tight connection point for all of your ISO baseball devices.